I live、uh, about 120 kilometers north of Tokyo, fairly close to the Pacific Coast. And you're creating a message to draw attention to the article you've written at CanDoBetter.net about、right. um, nuclear situation. So at the same、situation. time,、um, <coughs> where I live is about 120 kilometers、uh, directly from the ongoing nuclear disaster、um, at Fukushima Number One Power Station.、Um, so、uh, although we do not at the moment feel that we are being directly affected by that,、um, there obviously is radiation in the area. Um, and if any one of those reactors blows up, especially number three,、um, which uh, has uh, uranium and plutonium mixed oxides in it, then we're going to be in a very serious situation indeed. I'm fully aware that I'm either going to die、uh, if that situation occurs, or we'll have to evacuate from here pretty quickly. Um, I have written an article and yesterday, and I posted it on、um, the blog site in Australia called CanDoBetter.net. That's the three words CanDoBetter、uh, with no hyphens,、uh, no spaces, and then dot net. And I hope that you will read the article,、um, and I hope you will agree with what I've said.、Um, in the article, you will see that I am calling for people to. Um, to support me in a campaign, or support anybody、um, with similar ideas,、um, in a campaign to stop all nuclear power stations, that's in Japan or anywhere, the construction of all new power stations, and、um, to phase out all existing power stations within a reasonable amount of time. And well, perhaps you might say that would be within their original stated lifetime. And I hope a lot of people will join me on this. So,、uh, if people will read the article on CanDoBetter.net, at the bottom of the article there are seven or eight suggestions of things that you might do, which include leaving a comment, or, for example, using Facebook or Twitter or other SNS sites to spread this message. It's not necessarily a message for for me in particular. It's a message for everybody to take the first step towards. To a saner society, and that first step would be saying no to nukes. Which then means saying no to population and commercial growth, doesn't it? Uh, effectively, yes, it does. As I state in the article,、uh, once you start saying no to nukes,、um, then you've got to you've got to look at the whole energy situation. And once you look at the energy situation, you're effectively looking at the economy, which means how society is run,、um, food production, especially, which is which is my、uh, which is my speciality. Um, and other things like that. So you you would eventually end up、um, looking at how the whole of society should be run and what kind of future we want to create.、Um, so as I say in the article,、um, it was just yesterday that I read a message by Tim there who suggests that saving the planet or um, or uh, saving the environment、um, is like a golf game. Um, you don't worry about where you're going,、uh, how you're going to be doing at、um, the 18th hole, but you worry about first of all getting getting the ball in the first hole. Maybe the first stroke or getting to the first 
uh, to the first hole um, is this step of, um, of uh, saying no to nukes. But um, Tim, in, in his article, he said, um, let's first start on reducing the population, which is also a good idea. Um, but I think as a first step towards moving in that direction, um, at least for me, in the present situation I'm in now. Yes, you don't want to reduce <laughs> the population like through nuclear accidents. To say no to nukes, and if we can get some movement on that, um, then to move on to something else. And, and, and as I say, this will mean uh, looking at things like peak oil and, and the production of food and things like that. If we say no to nukes, people are definitely going to say, well, what about this? What about that? It's going to affect this. It's going to affect that. And that's absolutely right. But this, so this first step will mean um, that people will have to investigate and think very hard about um, very many other factors in our society at present. In fact, um, Tony, uh, nuclear power is really the rabbit that the growth lobbyists have up their sleeves all the time, isn't it? The one that they want to pull out of their hats, but it just looks like a nightmare that they've pulled out of their hats. Um, yes, it, for a long time, um, and especially back maybe in the 50s when nuclear power first started, um, it was thought to be the dream energy that would keep everything running for, for literally ever. Yes. Um, as uh, we've come down through the decades, we've realized that there are two problems. One is that um, it's extremely dangerous, um, as we've seen with previous accidents. Um, and the other thing is that um, eventually uh, the uranium uh, resource is going to run out as well. Um, uh, yes, the, the, these people have um, said uh, for a long time that we can um, keep our uh, economy running on nuclear power, and, and perhaps in a sense they're right. If the fast breeder would run, and if, if fusion uh, power was possible, then perhaps that might be so, but this doesn't look like happening. Um, these things look like they're so dangerous that they're technical impossibilities and, and therefore it isn't going to happen. So we're going to have to have a, a very big rethink on, on energy and where future and where society might be going in the future, people. Great. Let them know what, what people really think. Some democracy for a change. A little democracy for a change. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Tony. See you later. Bye. Ciao. Thanks. Signing off. Bye.